here dude dude that's a sick band <laughs> oh, only one what up, it's dude? time to tackle wiring now this won't be the only oh. video where i'll be working on wiring Do but something. this is where we made some of the most prominent progress the long-haired beauty you're seeing on screen is francesco he's a good friend of mine that i've known for about four years now Fran finds it easier to work on other people's projects than his own, which is a trend you'll be seeing among my friends throughout the upcoming videos. Today's goal with wiring is to be able to power up at least the water pump controller and the dash cluster. That is, assuming we can focus on the task at hand, which as you will see, we have a hard time doing. Something worth noting before we go on. I'm not an expert in motorsport wiring, not even close. Whatever I know of motorsport wiring, I learned from GT4 cars that I worked on along with the formula cars. However, I never built the wiring harness and at most only added extra wires to existing harnesses. In other words, you are welcome to follow along, but maybe don't treat what you're about to see as a wiring guide. There are far better channels for that, including HP Academy, which is what I personally used. I can't really test it because I don't have anything at the moment, but well, nothing's connected I should say. So, I already started wiring up all the connectors for the car tech right there. Okay. Power's already in. Okay. Well, it needs to be actually connected. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's like, sorry for the mess, dude. It's like, dude, it's been like this? It's been like this for like eight years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've cleaned it multiple times, and every time I clean it, like, I work on the car Five once. plus? Huh? You got a five plus? This is Justin's. Oh, okay. I'm borrowing it. Nice. Because mine is... Did you decide what printer you're getting? I'm waiting on my Excel. I thought you were gonna, we were gonna have a boron build party. I'm down. I'm still down. It's be better down. than the Excel, for sure. Uh, <laughs> that's a bold statement. I want to get a Voron and then I want to get a CR30. So if I ever print anything long, it's the okay, conveyor belt printer. Oh. I think that would be the, the right amount of printers to have. Airflow. You could print one on that. Yeah. You could print one on that very easily. Should I buy one? This is literally the reason that I want to make videos again, which is weird. What the heck? Because you hate it so much? P707. Because you love it so much or you hate it so much? Oh, I love it. Oh, okay. It's fucking amazing. How can you fuck this up? It's just a crimping tool. You would think, but every other crimping tool that I've had, we've been like in this adventure, you and I, for like who knows how long trying to find crimping tools. I'll give you that. You know what I mean? Thank we you bought so. that $150 piece of shit. With I don't love it either. I hate that thing. It worked good for one specific thing, and then I've yeah. used it for other things, it doesn't work very well. No, it doesn't. Return it. Too late. I like the leveraged ones better. You just go. And this one is, is, you have to crimp one on the bike. Okay. Just, just take any fucking connector, I don't care. So what am I supposed to do this one? It's fucking nice. They're different. These are bigger because they're supposed to grab the oh, sheathing. Oh, I've been crimping with the wrong side this whole fucking time. It's probably going back. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Better carry like three fire extinguishers with you? See? Grabs the wire perfectly. Maybe four. I never thought about that. And the big ones, too. What do you think? <sighs> I think it's not going anywhere. Dude, that's fucking amazing. It's simple. And then there's the, the, the three size one. Remember the Amazon one, the $35 one? <laughs> this one? These. Oh, those are rep as fuck, dude. <laughs> this you, is way better. Right? That used to be my go-to. I used to think... Like shit. I used to think this was the shit. Because, like... It was 30 bucks. Well, not the shit, but it was the best one of them all. Is it supposed to do that? I don't think so. It's probably broken. It's seen a lot of use. Yeah, on tiny the dude. This one's better. Oh, sorry. Well, I like that this one moves like straight in and out. Yes. You know, I feel like that's better than the. Mm. But whatever they did to that one, it just works. 
Is this I'm like a, an on brand one? <laughs> it's Hozon. It's a hot This is Japanese. Hozon. It's like 70 bucks. That's but really it's, not that much. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's dirt fucking cheap. But yeah, if you're ever having problems with like electrical crimping and whatever. Women, anything. <laughs> women, that. men, doesn't matter. Hozon P707. <laughs> so, which of these have you done already? There, I started on both. Like, are there any plugs in the plug, or is there just... The They're crimps? right there. Do you have more crimps to do? Um, I don't think so. For the wires that are already there, no. But okay. I will probably need more wires. This, I lucked out. This was not planned whatsoever. Okay. I did not expect this to work out so well, but the top ones are, for the most part, everything that has to do with, like, one harness. And then the bottom ones... They have everything to do with like two other harnesses, the rear light harness and the front light harness. Beautiful. Let's let's like plug them in one at a time and verify that they work. Do you have a battery? Yeah. What do you, how do you want to go about this? Do you want us both to work on this? Sure. Okay, cool. Do you have something else to do? I was going to do this really quick and just hit the print button and it's up. I don't have filament. Why didn't you tell me to bring some? I didn't think about it. I just got some nylon carbon fiber, some ASA, some... PETG, I got some PLA, and I love how they all come in the cardboard spools. Yes. I feel like I'm saving the environment. I fucking hate it makes me very spools. happy. I only buy the cardboard spools. I hate now. the plastic spools. I love this thing. Um, listen, it's not perfect, but they even have like a reverse engineering option where you can contact somebody to help you with reverse engineering. I've never used it. I love it. that. Yeah, it's they don't build the software, it's just a phone number. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it's like just a, call it hello. It's more like a service, but I... I think this thing is pretty fucking dope. Better than your Revopoint? point? Oh my god. Better than the Creality? Dude, the moment I used this, I listed the Revopoint point on eBay and sold it. We were supposed to be working on wiring. We'll scan the wiring. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Real question, if you're gonna do your exhaust like that, why even do turn signals and shit? It's not gonna be road legal. Because <laughs> turn signals are sexy. Okay, fair enough. If you watch Wong on Midnight, you're gonna be addicted to turn signals. Oh, it works! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I like to turn the data quality indicator on. So right now it's not scanning, it's just preview mode. It's got some decent depth in it, though. That's Ooh. what I wanted to see was the scanning depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this thing is capable, bro. Um, this is your working distance. Uh -huh. um, I think Crank it's that bitch all the way. <laughs> Down or all the way? No, like, that's perfect. Okay. This is your bright. Because what I've learned is the nicer scanners, they can scan more of a range of depth. Right. Like, but reality, you got, like, you know, a foot of scanning room. That's not a foot. <laughs> That's a foot, dog. <laughs> I see what you mean. Okay. The middle button. That's going to be... Oh, we're scanning now. Whoa. Yeah, now you're scanning. I don't care what like anybody says. This thing is fucking capable. For a no-prep wheel, this is getting a pretty decent scan now. Really, so. And it doesn't take long for it to finish the scan either. Like Once it's green, it's done. Mm -hmm. Green just means your scan is perfect. There's no point in convenience. Done. I like the buttons on there. Yeah. I fuck with it. And the other cool thing about it is there's a ton of community support. So you can get like attachments, like 3D printable attachments for it. So you can like a handle, you can hold it. And it even comes with like little buttons inside of it. it I like the it. main buttons. The software doesn't look bad. It's not bad. It's, it's terrible. Really? I still need the $12,000 scanner. No, you don't. I do. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the power stud that's going to the alternator and the starter. Okay. Um, Why'd you run 2 gauge for that? I don't remember. Somebody said use two gauge, and I was like, okay. All right. For what? I don't know. Okay. Four gauge is probably plenty. Eight gauge would have been enough. Really? Yeah. The electric water pump. It's, it's gonna, gonna be pull that many amps. Dude, two gauge is like 150 amps or something like that. Well, the alternator is 150 amps. Yeah, but it doesn't actually work. Well, it's capable. Of it. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying, it's like a, it's different. I, okay. I, I mean, again, you like know, my more factory, more about this my name. factory alternator cable in the Corvette was 12 gauge. And that's a 150 amp, 200 amp alternator. Should I maybe? No, it's, this isn't very heavy. Okay. So it's fine to just leave it? It's totally fine. Okay. Like oh, whenever. man, this is comfy. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want something soft? You want to get you a pillow? I'm already sitting at this point. Well, I can, you can put, a, I can put a pillow under your ass. No, it's okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Man, I love recording. Yeah? And not having to know anything. I don't know what the fuck's going <laughs> on here. He's got three things labeled on this and there's only two wires coming out of it so oh, that doesn't yeah. make much sense we really should Damn, just do you still want milk? sure you're just gonna drink milk
Yeah. No, That's just a little fucking bit. Fucking weird, bro. <laughs> No, I made myself like coffee, but yeah. just like the coffee portion. Oh, okay, that's so much better. Yeah. That's so much better. You guys want a glass of milk? <laughs> I asked him like, "You have milk?" And he's like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> it's a valid question. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what any of this shit is. I don't know, blast for you. Bougie ass glass. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It's like a <laughs> All right, um, milk. Do I? Two wires. Oh my god. How am I gonna fucking do this? Jesus Christ! Good thing you had your surgery, dude. Oh my god, my back is not happy about this. How is your back? Oh, I could nap right now, dude. Could you really? No. <laughs> and we might end up just, on doing just some ignore me, guys. Yeah. Is that the whole cup? No, that's half of it. All right. Um. These here are all coming from ice coffee? Ice coffee. Nice. <laughs> okay, you're saying <laughs> these here all come from the dash. Okay. So this is the pie dash power. This is the gauges power. Uh, how are you powering the pie dash? Um so Straight to the pie board? To the ECU. But I mean to the pie itself. No, 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 no. It's not 12 volt. No. I have a little 12 to 5 volt converter here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, yeah. I was going to say, I wouldn't power the board directly no, without no, no. a converter because they're very yeah. finicky. No, I got the 12 to 5 volt converter with the. Got a phone, dude? God damn, check that out. Damn, <laughs> damn it's all Foamy. up in the lid, dude. Okay. Frothy. <laughs> pie, 5 volt, 12 volt. <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's see. And then that's going to go to the ECU. So the ECU. Is going to power on the pie like it would a dash. Um, yeah. Water pump? Water pump. Okay. We need power though. Yes, let's do power. Jesus <laughs> oh. oh, fucking Christ. Oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> Old man ass. Bro. <laughs> God damn. So, what did we get done this episode? Not as much as we'd hope. By now we started routing the main 12 volt wires and grounds, but have yet to test the functionality of the electrical components. The distractions didn't help, but it's a fair representation of what to expect from the upcoming episodes. The wiring saga is not yet over. Next episode we will continue with the electrical adventures, but for now it's time to close out. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, or a dislike if you didn't, and stay tuned for episode 11.